I've been in this room for hours. Perhaps I should get some fresh air. That would make me feel better. That's much better. Now I can just relax and think. What's this? I wonder what's behind this door. Whoa! What is this place? This is my secret science lab. Who are you? I am Dr. Emmett Swanson, the greatest scientist in the world. Nice to meet you, Emmett. I'm Jonathan. I know who you are, Mr. Fuero. I've been waiting a long time to finally meet you. Ever since you came back here after five months, everyone was really happy that you're back. And so am I. Why, thank you, Emmett. I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I just came back because I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to everyone. So I'm staying here until I return home. That is a very good decision. So, do you want to hang out here? Sure! What's that machine you got over there? Oh, that? That's a time machine! Wow, that looks so cool. I wish that I can try it, but I can't. Because the Plotagon people would probably know where I am, so I should be going. It was very nice meeting you, Emmett. I hope we can see each other sometime. And maybe you can show me your experiments. Yeah, I can do that. I will be working on some inventions for you to check it out. But for now, your journey continues and you have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. See you soon, Jonathan. See you later, Emmett. Wow, it looks really beautiful from this view. My gosh, I love that sunset. <gasps> oh my gosh! I almost forgot about Emmett's demonstration. I gotta get there. Fast! Whew. Emmett, am I too late? No, no, you're just in time. Quick, get in a time machine. Okay. Alright, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to send you two hours into the future when it's night time. And when it's night time, the demonstration will begin. Alright, I trust you, Emmett. Alright, kid. Good luck. Everything is working out perfectly. Soon I will become more powerful than him. And once he comes back, he will be very weak. And I will be able to rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> Is something wrong? I don't feel so good. Here, let me help. Whoa! Thanks, Emmett. How did you do that? Well, I guess I just patted your shoulder, I guess. Alright, I'm not gonna ask some questions. Show me your experiment. Alright, Mr. Fuero. Let the demonstration begin. Now stand back. Alright. Okay, Emmett, I'm ready. Alright, good. Look up. Okay. Whoa! The fireworks look so cool. Just wait till it finishes. Okay. Wow. Look at the stars. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, eh? Yeah. Emmett, that was so amazing. Your experiment was a success. I never seen anything like it. Yep. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, dude. But I have one question to ask. Why can't you leave this lap of yours? <sighs> well, back in my day, I was inventing a potion that would give the Plotagon people superpowers. The experiment didn't work, and everyone hated me. So they kicked me out of Plotagon City, and that's when I ended up here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emmett. Don't be. I just feel like I'm nothing, and I'm a fool. You're not a fool. You're a scientist, and you are destined to do great things. And maybe you could be the hero. 
Thank you. I really appreciate your thoughts. You're welcome. I have to go. Okay, see you soon. See ya. <sighs> another day, another dollar. Tomorrow will be my final day. Now before I pack my stuff, I'm gonna see what Emmett's up to. Okay Emmett, hope you don't do anything stupid. Emmett, where did you go? He has to be here somewhere. Let's see what's up with this computer. Everything is working out perfectly. Soon I will become more powerful than him. And once he comes back, he will be very weak. And I will be able to rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, Emmett. What have you done? I have become more powerful than you, Fuero. Powerful than you can ever imagine. Ugh! My head. It's killing me. What have you done to me? When I put you in the time machine, I sent you two hours into the future. During your time travel experience, your creativity powers was being drained to me. And now that I'm stronger and powerful, I can now take over the world. <laughs> How could you do this to me, Emmett? I thought we were friends. Friends? No, I've used you like a toy ever since the day we met. You showed me your hope, your courage, determination, and that compassion. You said that I could be a hero, but I'm no hero. I'm just an evil genius who likes to pretend to be your friend. Why? Because I am the only Swanson who knows how to manipulate the Plotagon world to get what I want. But we can rule the world, can we? Join me, Jonathan, and together we will rule Plotagon City. I'll never join you, not after what you've done. Well, unfortunately for you, you'll just have to die. You wanna fight me? Then come on! Fight, you coward! Fight! Huh? My turn. It's a shame that I have to kill you. That way you don't remember everything. Now your power belongs to me. You won't get away with this. I already have. Don't worry, young one. This will hurt a lot. Oh my god. What happened? You're in the Plotagon Hospital, Mr. Ferrero. My name is Damien, and you were knocked out for the last 24 hours. 24 hours? More like a whole day. Yeah, perhaps you can say that. Anyways, the doctor will be here shortly. Okay, thank you, Damien. You're welcome! Well, I wasn't expecting that this universe has a hospital. If I was at a hospital patient room in the real world right now, I would probably see a doctor and see what's wrong with me. But it's gonna turn out great, I know it will. Hello, Jonathan. My name is Dr. Drake, and I will be your doctor for today. Hey, Doc! Wasn't expecting you to get here this fast. This hospital is much better than a real world. Excuse me? I mean, this hospital is much better than my world. Oh, okay, that's understandable. So, how are the x-rays? Well, it appears that your brain caused a lot of damage. By meaning? Someone had hit you in the head so hard, and it caused you to lose your memory. You mean, my memories? Yes, I believe so. Oh, that sucks. Do you still remember everything? 
I still do remember, but not this red-headed fellow. I don't even know his name. I'm sure you will find some answers in the library. Yeah, thanks for helping me, Doctor. I really appreciate it. No problem. You should get some rest. Tomorrow will be a big day for you. So you know that I'm leaving Plotagon to go to LA? Why yes, when you were knocked out, I looked in your memories, and your thoughts too. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Thanks doc, I really appreciate it. No problem, now get some enough sleep, stay safe out there. You too doctor. Alright, I should get some sleep. Good night Plotagon, tomorrow will be a big day. This is all my fault. I let him become friends with me, used to be like a toy, and took my power from me. How am I gonna stop him without my powers? I've been a fool and being manipulated by him. I guess I got here for nothing. Ah! Uh, what's happening? I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what the? Where am I? Hello, young one. We have been expecting you. Whoa, who are you guys? We are the Elder Gods. We are the protectors of the universe, time and space itself. That's very interesting. We have been watching you for a long time, Jonathan of Earth, ever since you arrived at the Plotagon world. Wow, I did not know that. And that is why we are choosing you to be our champion. You have proven your strength, your kindness, your joy, and your courage to lift the darkness from this world. Did you really think I could do this? We all believe in you. You just need to have faith in yourself. But how? You just need to focus. Think about your family. Think about your friends. They are the ones you love. It seems that your family and your friends gave your strength. I like that. I like that. I appreciate that. We are all proud of you. You have proved yourself your faith, your encouragement, your hope, and your confidence by never giving up. And you were able to get rid of the negative things that happened in the past. Your responsibility taught you everything on your journey, and we are all happy that you achieved your goals on this path. Before we give your powers, we'd like to introduce you to a leader of ours. And who can that be? Hello, my son. F father How are you even here? I have been with you all this time. You have grown so much, my child. I know, but what is with you and the older gods anyway? They have given me a new power, which means is that I am your new guard of the Speed Force. That's great! Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to tell you at the right time, but that time is now. You deserve that blessing, and I am so proud of you. When we give your powers, you must always remember. With great power, comes great responsibility. Never forget that my boy, never forget that. Oh, never forget. Take my hand, son. You are now ready. Since you learned everything from Plotagon, it's time we give those powers to you. You deserve it. You have come so far to become a hero. I wanted to be your hero ever since I was a little boy. Well, your dream shall come true. You're the one that we have been looking for. You will do a great job protecting the multiverse and time. We know that you can do it. You faced your fears and you stand it up for yourself. You are really brave, keep that spirit in your heart, and never be afraid. I'm proud of you for bringing your friends on your journey to stop Swinson. You have great kindness, and that is a good thing. I think you are ready to face him with your friends and stop him from destroying the Plotagon world. I know that I can do it. I will be the one to save the Plotagon world. And you will, and now, the time has come. Let your new journey begin.
And now, my power lives within you. Wow, that's so cool. What am I? You are the god of superhero. Awesome. You have new powers and extraordinary abilities. This means that your new powers is connected to the speed force. You will be fast enough to travel through time, vibrate through solid objects, and run fast enough to travel to alternate worlds of the universe. That's incredible! Your speed force allows you to channel through your positive emotions, like giving out motivation speeches, being kind to people, and always be there for your family, and also your friends. That love will make you stronger, strong enough to defeat Swanson, and get rid of his hate that is consuming this world. Your powers are now combined with Superman, the Flash, the Vibe, and the Thunder God himself, Raiden. That means you can fly, run really fast, and use your lighting abilities to teleport, or to aim at your opponent. You can also open up a breach to travel any infinite Earths of the multiverse. That is epic! You have a new ability to share your powers with your family and your friends. That way they can have the same powers as you, but their powers might be different. Finally, you have a new ability to heal. Not only but yourself, but also you can heal your friends and your family whatever if they get injured or hurt. You always be there for one another, no matter what the odds. I'm sure I can help them up anytime. I know you will. I must warn you. When using your powers, you might get visions of the past, present, and the future, where you can learn and study it for upcoming events. This way it will be very useful for you on your journey. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. So tell me, Elder Gods, what are your names? I would love to find out. My name is Alexander. I am Isabella. I'm Elijah. I am Raven. And I'm Apollo. Well, it's nice to meet all of you. Thank you so much for giving me my new powers. You are very welcome, Lord Ferrero. Well, I guess it's time for you to go back to the Plutagan world. Don't worry, I am always here with you. Thank you, Father. We will speak again soon. Goodbye, Jonathan. We'll always be with you. Goodbye, Alexander and Elder Gods. I'll see you all soon.